The price of a brick is going up. 14 million. Pass catchers, wide receivers are going for upwards of 27 million. That's true. Average per year. 27 million. No, we saw David Njoku get his bag. We saw Dawson Knox get his bag. Yes. TJ Hawkinson is going to request a bag. He's a dog. He's a dog. TJ Hawkinson wouldn't help. He's good. Would you pay <laughs> Would you pay TJ Hawkinson 14 million dollars a year? I would, but I would be like I want to talk about current Detroit Lion who I don't know if they're they, they haven't actually opened up and said they're talking about contract extensions. Yeah. Uh, when they asked Brad Holmes about it, he said they do those things in house. It, yeah. But uh, you know, Dawson Knox has signed a big deal. Yes, he did. Four years, fifty-three point six million dollars, uh, thirteen point four million average per year. But as we know, that's not how these things go. The contracts yeah. aren't like thirteen this year, thirteen this year. Yeah. They try to fuck you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But hey, we'll give you this big amount, but you gotta make it to your fourth year to cash in and yeah. all of it. First year you're gonna pay nine million. Yeah. And then by the third year you'll be making sixteen though. You know, if you catch up there, you'll get cut yes. by that. Hundred you know? yeah. percent. Uh thirty one million guaranteed though, actually. That's that's actually pretty good. Yes, thirty one guaranteed is good. That's you. you know, thank you. <laughs> thank Google it. I think this is a lot of his boy Josh Allen being like, Hey, yeah. You you fucking signed no, for Dawson sure. Knox. You, you want to keep the offense right together. Now. But yeah. the price of a brick is going up. To quote Marlo Stanfield, the coldest antagonist of all time. But we saw David Njoku get his bag. We saw Dawson Knox get his bag. Yes. TJ Hawkinson is going to request a bag. He is going to request $14 million a year average. Are you willing and or comfortable to pay TJ Hawkinson $14 million every season for four years, five years, whatever it ends up being? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's the average per, breaking it down. But like I said, these contracts aren't, aren't built that way, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? This, this stuff's backloaded. <laughs> but let's, let's pay them. And, and let's be honest about it, too. Like, you know, TJ Hawkinson, his, his strong suit <laughs> is as a pass catcher. Pass catchers, wide receivers are going for upwards of $27 million That's true. Average per year. $27 million. No, that's more than a $10 million dollar discount. Are you kidding me? And yeah. TJ Hawk's a dog at receiver. I'm, I got his, and this is like a fantasy website, but just comparing his 2021 season versus Dawson Knox. Other than touchdowns. Dawson Cox. And, and remember, Peacock too, that TJ, TJ got hurt. Dawson finished the season. More, more targets, more receptions. 84 targets, 61 receptions. Dawson Knox, 71 targets, 49 receptions. And Dawson Knox only finished with four more yards. Mind you, Dawson Knox played the full season. Yes. TJ Hawks had checked out and got hurt. He's a dog. He's a dog. TJ Hawkinson, when healthy, he's good. When healthy. When healthy, 100%. And, 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 I th- <laughs> he had some I, moments of camp. He's already been sitting out and stuff like that. But I think the biggest part of the contract is how much you're guaranteeing him. That's yes, the biggest thing that I don't know how much they would guarantee him. But You'd have he wouldn't sign it. NFL players are getting smart with that shit now. They're not, they should. They, yeah, they yeah. should. It's the yeah. most violent sport. You, I couldn't believe, like, NBA or MLB players were getting more guaranteed money than NFL players. It's like, wild. That's bro. fucking ridiculous. It's like, wild. Owners in the NFL are scumbags. <laughs> like these guys can literally die on every play, and you're not guaranteeing them money. But it's NFLPA I, sucks. Bro. I was laughing because uh, buddy walked by with the the Steve from Blue's Clues shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. He was like. But yeah, I, uh, say, I kept my focus. I'm on. I'm off that Addy today. But <laughs> would you pay? Would you pay T.J. Hawkinson 14 million dollars a year? I would, but I would be like, like when the time came to, that's when. At the moment, I'm still a little queasy. Like just about like totally giving him that money. I yeah. think he's a great player and everything. It's just like if he gets injured again, then it's like, hmm, mm. you know, hmm. Yeah. Like I, <clears throat> like I said, it's the guaranteed money. That's the biggest thing that. I look at those contracts at obviously you can throw out whatever amount on those on the paper, but if it's not guaranteed, then that changes things. But I would probably pay him at the moment, yes. And, and this is a big year for him too. Like like you said, it's really very much up to his health. Like yeah. if he stays healthy this year, I'm giving him the bag. If he's hurt this year, would you franchise tag him? Because he'll yeah. make more than fourteen million dollars a year on a franchise tag. Yeah, because what's that? The top five top salaries, three. top three salaries. Yeah, at your position. Uh, so it'd probably be like 15, 16. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure they if they can't get a deal done. They'll, they'll franchise tag him. Him and Dawson Knox were actually drafted the same year. I just found out too. They both have three years in the league. Dawson Knox with 1,200 yards total in his career. T.J. Hawkinson with 1,600. That's what I'm saying. I think T.J. is a 
He's a better tight end. Who would be honest. more vital to this team? Who would you re-sign first? Because they're both coming up on Hammer contract Swift? years. Him or Swift? Oh, uh, man. Definitely, definitely has to deal with the health. Right now, based off everything you know about their careers, everything you know about them as a player is right now. Which one do you and sign? And you have to pay one you of them? You have to pay one of them. Going rates. I feel like Swift would ultimately be cheaper, but to be honest with you, I just, I'm going Hawk. I'm going Hawk. You're going Hawk? Yeah, I hate to Big sound cock disrespectful cock. of Big Swift, cock. but he, he's also another guy that suffers from injuries, and as we know, does. I mean, we saw Craig Reynolds come off the couch last year and, and, and look pretty damn good for us, you know, and you know, we're to the point, too, where we have a, a roster filled with, with tons of, like, rookie deal talent because of the draft from, I'm sorry, trade from uh, Jared Goff and, and, and Stafford that we might be able to afford to go get us a running back or make a trade for one if it's we really, truly wanted one that was that good or bad. Sus, make that a pull. Can I answer that question as well? Yeah. yeah. Big cock, hawk, or, or Swift? So I have to choose between the two. I would pay Hawkinson over DeAndre Swift just because mm-hmm. the fact that there's, there's always seems to be able to f- you're able to find that running back yeah. out there whether it's free agency or the draft. I think it's a lot harder to find a more productive tight end like Hawkinson than DeAndre Swift. Plus he, you know, he, he's had his injury issues as well. But it, we still have something to s- like this is a big year for uh, DeAndre Swift. Like there's really really no excuse for him not to do well with the great offensive line in front of him. And he's putting up these high expectations for himself, especially in like hard knocks and everything. Hard knocks. Now it's <laughs> now it's about answering those questions. I don't. I, at the moment, I would say Hawkinson. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. This is actually a really tough decision for me because I like Swift a lot, but I am in the camp of not paying running backs. I am in the camp of what. NFL teams do now, which is use and abuse and toss to the side. Because, like you said, man, running backs, that is one of the toughest positions to play and stay healthy. You know, you're getting a lot of collisions in there. You got guys taking out your knees, taking out your legs, stuff like that. And for a guy like DeAndre Swift to get paid, it would probably be cheaper than Hawkinson, but that would be a commitment. And But on the other side of it, DeAndre Swift still has a lot of tread on the tires. Like, it's... He's, he, he's missed these games early, so he doesn't have the wear and tear of, of other backs at this point in their career. So you got to look at it from that, that aspect as well. But I'm with you, Owen. You can find a, a running back like that in later rounds in the draft. It's tough to find a real top-flight tight end like that without wasting a first-round draft pick on him like you did to get Hawk. So. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, Swift himself is a second-round pick. You yeah. Know? And, and, like, if I'm being real about it, like you, you, I mean, you uh, – nail on the nose or the, the, the expression is but it's a lot harder to find a, a good tight end as good as Hawk is in, at, you know when he's healthy than it is to find that running back it yeah, just 100%. is as sure. much as we like, look at the, the, the bag that Knox just got you know TJ's outproducing him and everything outside TJ of like, is touchdowns better, TJ is a better player than Dawson yeah. Knox and, and mind you too the games that TJ's missed and the offenses that TJ's been a part of like David Ball was his starting quarterback that I think it was that first year or second year like he only had the one year of staff when he went to the freaking Pro Bowl yep. well you regardless know? they're going to have to get this contract done or the price of a brick will keep going up yes. people, more people are going to get signed that's just how it works